Hello, I'm Scott Silva Bell coming to you live from Oahu. It's January 5th, 2015. We're talking about the steps that it takes to master the sales basics. Master the sales basics. So I want to ask you if you have the ability to tell a good story. Do you have the ability to tell a good story? Do you? Because here's the thing, as you go through the process, most people's stories are not very good and it creates a challenge. And one of the reasons that you, for step number 19, want to be able to tell a good story is stories as you talk to people fly underneath the radar and in the oral traditions when when people were coming up and let's just say they didn't have the ability to write everything down they had to remember the story they had to remember the process so we're preconditioned to remember stories and facts so if i tell you i was out here a couple of days ago i was picking up my bag with all my equipment and i hurt my back and i had to go to the chiropractor and i was out of the game for four days okay you can remember just about all of those facts. You can remember about almost all that situation of the story and you could pick it up and then you could go and tell somebody else, hey, Scott was out at uh, Shark's Cove the other day. He hurt his back and he was really out of making movies for four days. I mean, I might've shot one or two of them, but I didn't shoot like 20 or 30 of them like I normally do at a time, okay? So you can remember that story. So for you to be in the sales process, the best thing that you can do is have the ability to good, tell good stories. Now, a good story is a whole bunch of series of facts coherently stringed together, wrapped up in a way that somebody's gonna remember, okay? So if I tell you this morning I left the house at 8.30, I drove over to this place called Ted's Bakery and got really good Halpia chocolate pie, and then I grabbed a Henry Weinhardt's root beer, because those are two of my favorite things, because I love sugar, and uh, I came to the beach and I started filming at about 9.45. You can remember that string of information, okay? So for you to master the sales basics, you have to be able to tell a good story. Now. I want you to understand something. I'm not saying lie. I'm saying tell a good story, make it so it's an easy process for that person to remember everything that's going on. Just wrap up your facts and put them together in a way so they're coherent and it's easy for that person to remember, okay? So let's just recap it. So number one is dress apart. Number two is check the attitude of the door. Number three is be prepared. Number four, show up on time. Five is ask really good questions. Six is get to the pain, the budget, the commitment. Seven is be confident. Eight is ask for the business. Nine is be calm in the face of danger. 10 is deliver what was promised. 11 is follow up. 12 is to send thank you cards. 13 is to have silence when you need it, because remember, there's gonna be points we need silence. 14 is to have a thick skin. 15 is to be coachable. 16 is to always learn from other salespeople's processes, right? That's what you're watching this video for today. You're, you're here to learn. 17 is to set goals. 18 is to find a mentor. And number 19, number 19, I'm sorry, this is number 19, be able to tell good stories. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or a story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. Subscribe. And then you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Scott Silvan Bell. Only Scott Bell with the Silvan Bell. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.